Hey everyone. Um, I have finished four months now in real estate. Um, I am very excited about that. Uh, this last month and a half has been pretty um, not as productive as I would have liked. Um, had two deaths in the family and I did the funeral for my grandmother and then I just went to the funeral for my stepbrother um, this past weekend. So I've been doing a lot of grieving, um, but I have learned quite a bit in the last month and a half, two months, four months, <laughs> six months. Um, I have two homes on the market for sale right now, and um, both of them, um, one I got through flyers, and then the other got through door knocking. And neither of them are really motivated sellers. One just wants to upgrade, um, but she has to have a specific amount that she needs to get out of the house that she's selling. And then the other one, I didn't find out until after I'd listed it, that he is fine waiting till next year to sell and only gave me two months to sell it, um, but had a very specific amount. And I thought being a seller's market that I would be able to sell both of them. Um, it's been the two months is up on Sunday for uh, the one that gave me two months and we had three showings. Um, so it's about 20,000 over priced um, and so we just weren't getting showings. Great house, fantastic location, and I'm not selling it. So, um, there's a chance that he might, uh, take a couple weeks to a month break and then put it back on the market, or he might wait until next year. So, I don't know if he's going to continue to use me. We have pretty good rapport. Um, he's difficult. Um, I call him my grumpy old man. Um, and I really like him, I do. I think I've had to, because he took more from me than I probably would have given anyone else. I, I, I really do like him, um, but he's difficult. Uh, his wife just passed away um, in December. It's June now, so six months ago, and um, he wants to move back east. Anyway, so that's the first house. Second house, another great little home um, in a really good area and it's not as overpriced as the other one um, but she needs to get it's only about 2500 over the price that she really wants to get and um, me thinking that I was all that and could comp homes just fine uh, comped the homes and said Let's go for it. And we are 28 days in. We've had six showings. Um, so more than one a week, but not the three a week that you generally want to get. And uh, she's getting frustrated, and I'm getting frustrated. And I'm trying not to let her know that I'm frustrated um, because everyone I've talked to that has seen the home, all, all the agents that have seen the home, have said that they think it's priced right. So now I've, I've got a meeting tomorrow with my mentor and I'm going to ask him about the pricing of both of the homes and I also reached out to a, someone in my um, group and asked him to, to look at my home prices and, and comp it out if, as if he were going to sell it and what he would uh, put in an offer for. So we'll see. Um, he just said that he thought this, the second one was also really overpriced um, but I want to see, I'll get a few opinions. Um, that being said, it's 61 days on the market is, is the average right now for homes um, in the Phoenix area. So um, my one house that is going to expire on Sunday, today is Thursday, I think. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's not June. It's July. Sorry, it's July. He, um, you know, his, his house, it's... A little bit past the median so it's not a huge amount of time past but um, that's where I'm at so I'm feeling a little bit discouraged um, because my first house that I have on, my, on the market sold in seven days and while I haven't done um, my grumpy old man won't let me do any open houses um, I did the 
mega open house for the other one with an ice cream truck and everything and we've had good showings at open houses um we just haven't gotten that offer yet and i know it, it takes a while to it's a numbers game get as many people through and you'll find the person that that wants it but after the first house that's sold in seven days i'm feeling less than adequate right now um and then not caring about much grief will do that to you so um, I'm trying to to get back into caring about real estate because I need to make money <laughs> um, my husband could support us uh, we would just have to cut back all of our Disneyland trips and I don't want to do that so anyway that's what's been going on this month and um, I did a I did do a tour of homes with my grumpy old man's house and that's where you it's usually done by a uh, um, loan uh, a lender or a title company and you meet at a certain location and this one actually had a really nice van that they took us all in um, and then your house is on the tour um, but you have to be there and you give opinions to five or six other agents about their houses and they take us around and show us all of them and then we get lunch afterwards and um, I actually really enjoyed it so I'm hoping to do more of those uh, in the future and they thought the house wasn't very overpriced or anything it's just a matter of getting people in to see it um, so anyway so that's my difficulty right now um, I also had uh, I've had people start tagging me in posts on Facebook um, when somebody's asking for a realtor so I just had a first an appointment for one of those um, and I came in second place unfortunately um, but he was also he's been in sales for a long time and so he knew all the right questions to ask and I pride myself on being honest and so he asked me straight up how long have you been doing this and um, I said well I've been in sales off and on for 10 to 15 years um, but only in real estate for about six months but I feel like that that's an advantage to my clients because I put a lot more work into them. Um, anyway, he saw right through it. <laughs> we had a good time talking and I do hope him, wish him the best and, and uh, hopefully his, his house will sell. It's in the same neighborhood as my grumpy old man, so we'll see. Um, the other thing that I had to sit down and do is I wanna do everything possible for all of my clients and um, so I sat down and I crunched the numbers and boosting Facebook posts and and um, doing my mega open house for all of all of the homes wasn't I wasn't gonna make money doing it um, so I had to sit down and say okay for this cost of a home here's what I will do and then people have been asking me well I will I do five percent well I will take two percent commission and give three percent to the buyers agent and I thought well why don't I make up a plan and say okay I will take a 5% commission but here's what I'm not willing to do for a 6% commission here is all the other advantages that you'll get everything else I'll do I'll put money into it and then I decided that it's time to start doing my, my mega open houses cost about $800 so I decided that they need to pay me for those so I've I've included mega open houses um, a house cleaning service and other stuff for 7% um, we'll see how that goes I don't know first I've got to go find more clients I haven't gotten hardly any buyers so um, I'm really going to start working on trying to get some buyers um, uh, yeah so I'll let you know uh, next month I think I'll start these doing these month by month because nothing's really changing week to week anymore um, if I get any buyers and what my what my uh, strategy is or will be so we'll see all right that's it another month down and uh, time to get back to work